Wow, I have a great one for you people. One of the rare shields in the game has been found and it's an absolute monster capable of scary things. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps me out and subscribe if you want to see more. Okay, so before we go any further, massive shout out to Dragon51282 over on Xbox for sending me this thing. I know myself farming those vending machines for days just how rare this item is. So again, massive shout out to Dragon as this video wouldn't be possible without your help. So the kill switch shield is an item that's super rare. I've only ever seen it once before and that was on PS4 and it was at a level 50. Since the new levels have landed, many many people have been searching for this item. And that's because it offers something scary unique to this shield. So the kill switch shield. We see its capacity is only at a 3735. This compared to what is out there is very low. It has a 2.5 recharge delay and a 2219 recharge rate. But there is another variant I have seen which is circulating about the web which basically doubles this thing capacity wise. So there are definitely better variants out there. But this thing's party trick, you can see it has a 3 times prefix of power charge. What this does is, when damage, has a 25% chance to drop a power charge that increases weapon damage by 30%. What this means is three things. Firstly, playing activities like the raid or the slaughter shaft and places where many ads are upon you, you basically have a constant flow of a 30% plus damage buff. Because when you are being shot multiple times by multiple targets, you will see many of these charges drop. Hold that thought. Secondly people, as this is where things do get crazy, these charges stack, meaning if there are five on the floor in front of you, then that's four times that 30% damage, which you will get. If there are 10 of these charges on the floor in front of you people, well that's a 300 damage buff right there. Now the amount of charges that you can stack, I do believe might be around that 12 charges mark, but this I can't confirm. It's just how many I've seen before they start disappearing. But before we get into details of these charges people, thirdly, and are you ready for this? You can spawn these charges in yourself via damaging yourself. What this means is, equip yourself with a weapon which will damage you. Splash damage weapons probably work best. Simply damage yourself and these charges will spawn. Now if you have a low level weapon guys, you can spawn these miles quicker without hurting yourself. So if you can get your hands on a low level weapon such as the Hornet or Sellout, you can damage yourself even quicker without killing yourself and spawn these charges in at a much faster rate. And what this in turn means is, when it comes to farming bosses and you want to cause extra damage, crazy extra damage, you can easily do that with the shield stacking at a crazy rate. Now realistically, I don't think stacking damage like this, although it's fun, makes farming bosses that more efficient. I mean, yes, it kills them quicker, but I actually feel there are better shields out there for you to use if you do want to farm bosses, which make it more efficient. Shields like the one shutter, which in my opinion, has the advantage over this, as with that, you don't have to hang around timing things and damaging yourself to get those charges. You can simply jump into that fight, that boss fight, and just start farming and lay down that damage. I feel this shield is better used as a shield in having a constant flow of extra damage piling upon you while playing in instances like the Slaughter Shaft and the Malinwan Raid. And although its capacity is kind of low, other means which can affect your build might need to be put into place to get that more capacity people. Now I will state, playing the slot Shaft, the Maluan Raid and so forth, you do see way more than that 30% damage buff because of the amount of ads firing at you at the same time, you see many charges being applied and you see this more often than not. I was calculating at least 5 of the charges active on me at the same time within that Slaughter Shaft, winning a slug fest. And those were the charges I could see being applied people. So more about these charges and how they work. So once a charge appears after you take damage, it lasts roughly 15 seconds on the floor before it disappears and is wasted. Now once you run over it people and you apply that status effect and damage buff to yourself, you will see a red aura on the side of your screen and this lasts around 8 seconds. If you stack them, they don't last any longer when you apply them to yourself. It's only the damage which stacks which is the benefit of stacking them. Now sometimes the game will bug out and that aura will stay on your screen 
but the damage doesn't stay with it. So the kill sweet shield. Definitely for me an amazing shield which is capable of some crazy things. And that's not just the stacking damage so you can show off to your friends on Facebook with a one shot Brave Wolf kill. It's actually miles better than that. In the fact of the damage buffs this offers elsewhere when playing, you truly notice the difference. And for me within my Winter Soldier build it was amazing, even at low shield capacity. And when you stack it with other damage bonuses people, it's utterly amazing. Because on my actual Zane Winter Soldier build, my shield is something I was still experimenting with. I mean I was using the one shot shield for a while, but this may just take its crown when it comes to playing places like the Malawan Raid and the Slaughter Shaft because I'm constantly in my uh, barrier anyway so I rarely get damaged which does affect my shield. Now obviously I am going to keep my eye out for that higher capacity one because playing with a 3000 capacity shield against level 53, 54 and 55 enemies in the Malawan Raid and Slaughter Shaft you truly notice the difference. So yes a higher capacity version of this like the one I've seen floating about would be the much better variant to chase people. So yes, getting your hands on this, I feel, is an amazing shield to pair with a build in killing those mobs of enemies. Now I have no doubt people are looking at this shield and are drooling with ideas of how this could indeed add to their build and that's what this is all about. So this is a great great shield capable of amazing things and in the background now you can see me playing Slaughter Shaft with this shield equipped and you can see the damage output this thing offers. Now I do play on Xbox and do have my own Discord dedicated to Borderlands which is linked within the video description. If you have this shield or a better variant and you play on Xbox, you can send me a direct message to my Xbox, my game tag is IamDPJ, or you can hit me up on my Discord linked within the video description like I said. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video. This has been the Kill Switch Shield, I have been DPJ and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leaving a like really helps me out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. Now I have many, many more triple prefix shields which I will be doing reviews on, so stay tuned for them. But again, thanks for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.